Number 46, true or false. Boron contains 2s2, 2p1 valence electrons, so only one p orbital is needed to form molecular orbitals. Let's figure it out. So, boron on the periodic table does contain 2s2, 2p1 valence electrons. Now, how many total electrons is that? Well, you just add up the top, the upper right-hand corner numbers. 2 plus 1 is a total of 3 valence electrons. So that's going to be super important when we're actually going to draw the molecular orbital. So I pulled up what boron's molecular orbital structure would look like in general. Just know that the lines that are flanking the middle, right, that, that are on the sides, those are your atomic orbitals. So you have two atomic orbitals and you have one molecular orbital. The molecular orbitals are always in the middle, the ones that look like a complete mess. So since we're talking about boron, I have just a B, the atom, B on the left, I have just a B on the right, and I got B2, which makes the molecule, the molecular orbital, in the middle. Now since it has three valence electrons, I'm going to mark up what three would be on the left and three on the right. So remember, when you're filling these up, you have to start from the lowest energy and work your way up. So the lowest energy would be right here. And remember, you have to fill a orbital to go to the next level. So I'm going to say one, but now I have to fill this in order to go up there. So one, two, and then three. Same thing for the other side. One, two, and then three. Now your molecular orbital has to be the same number of your two outer sides. So three electrons for both boron, three plus three is six. So now I'm gonna do exactly the same, but I gotta start from the bottom and go to the top. So let's see, one, two, that's filled, so now I go to the second one, three, four, and now I'm at here, five, Six. Remember, kids on the school bus, right? You have to be fair. You have to fill one up equally before you double back. So now it seems like there are two p orbitals. Now just know that these are represented as the y and the z. The sigma p is always the px. So these are two different molecular orbitals. You have a PY pi and you have a PZ pi. So true or false, only one P orbital is needed? Not here. I need two distinct P orbitals. This is false. Two P orbitals are needed. Specifically, I need a PY and a PZ to make the pi PY and pi PZ molecular orbital. So this one is a falso. <laughs> and that was fun. I like true or false. Because on a test, you get a 50 50 shot. That's a high probability. <laughs> so. There you go. Hope for this helped. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We're almost at 30,000 subscribers and it's all because of you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. You guys rock. Let's keep rocking and rolling. Let's keep studying hard and always keep learning. That's what this channel is used for. Just to put out great educational content for you guys to learn so that you could do well on your tests and quizzes coming up. And good luck. I'm rooting for you guys. I know you're going to do great. All right? I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.